West Cork Jesters, we're a club more or less, not a team or a squad, but we're a club of mixed ability players. Uh, we have men's squad, we have a ladies squad and we have an underage squad. Eugene McCarty, a development officer that's uh, local to me in Bantry, um, said, oh, Nobby, about four or five years ago, would you be interested in doing tag rugby with some of the lads in the service I work in, which is co-action? And I said, yeah, go on, let's have a go at that. And he came, he did a class with it in the local hall. I felt I could, to excuse the pun, pick up the ball and run with it. And I started doing tag rugby with them. They loved it. And then we got a whisper of this phenomenon of mixed ability rugby. And that really piqued my own interest personally. And uh, I mentioned it to the guys and girls that were, uh, the men and women that were doing the tag rugby with me. And a fair number of them went, yeah, we'll have a piece of that. Um, and that was where it all started. Well, I started about three years before, or a couple of years before the um, lockdown, we started with tag rugby, and we got kind of uh, bored of that, and we wanted bigger and better, yeah. and um, we just ended up playing proper rugby then after that. Yeah, the club, um, we just started hanging out after the World, uh, before the World Cup, and we're getting closer and closer. Some of the lads that started only started recently, and it's like, our own little family that um, trying to fit into rugby. Uh, my daughter is involved in the in the gestures, and I was dropping her down in Clonakilty to a game, and somebody caught me and realised I had played rugby and dragged me in, put a, put a pair of boots on me for the day, and I've been involved ever since, and absolutely love it. It's it's very very um, rewarding. Yeah. In, in the sense, for me as a family, we have um, a daughter with disability, but there are a lot of guys out here who have no um, involvement with people with disabilities. And the, the interaction there is fantastic. Uh, that's what you see. And then you see the reaction from the people with disabilities, how, how much they aspire to coming. And you'll see it every week. People, everybody turns up every week, and this is just an example of how how involved they are and how much they love the interaction. And the sport really is almost secondary. Just the whole the social side of it. Uh, the, the rugby is going to be an awful lot of fun, and that will bring everyone together. And that's that's the. Uh, the, the, that's the, the circle that will join everyone up. I mean, there's 1,100 people. That's fantastic. And if this grows, to me, the greatest part of this is the publicity it will get. And from that, there needs to be, there's four teams in Ireland, there needs to be 40 teams in Ireland playing this sort of thing. And the development of this will come from this World Cup, which will be great, yeah.